The following video demonstrates how to replace the brake unit on your Rovic cart. This is a pretty easy operation and should only take you about 15 minutes along with this video. You're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver as well. And then the brake cable that came along with your unit. You're going to find it easiest to perform this by laying the cart onto its side with the right rear wheel down. This is going to give you access to the entire brake line. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the two screws on either side of the brake handle that's on the cart handle. So go ahead and take those off now. Okay, so now we need to pry out the brake handle. So you use a flat screwdriver to kind of pop it out a little bit and then twist and the handle will pop out. Then you need to remove the adjustment threaded bolts from the end of that brake housing there and then pop out the end of the brake cable out through the slot. Okay, so now we want to remove the cable sheath from the loops on the cart and just remove the screw where the loop is at and then the sheath will come out from the loop behind it and do that for both of those loops okay so you're now going to pull on the end of the brake sheath to remove the cable from the brake pin then unscrew the brake pin and slide it out of the unit and this will release the brake cable Okay, the final piece in removing the uh, brake cable is to slide it through the webbing up by the handle and then now you're ready to reinstall. Okay, to reinstall we're going to go ahead and slide the new cable back through that webbing. Now following the reverse order here we're going to take the brake pin and reinsert it back into the strut and then screw that end of the pin into the strut. And we're going to move the uh, brake cable and sheath towards it, but not insert it at this time. Now, see how it's not inserted inside yet. That's going to be one of the last steps. So now thread the sheath into the loop, put the screw through that loop, and then retighten the screw onto the strut. Once you have that screw in place, we're going to do the same exact thing on the main tube. You're going to feed that sheath through the loop, put the screw through the loop, and then retighten that screw onto the tube. All right, so we're now going to take the brake cable and slide it through the slot on the handle mount, push the sheath and the adjustment thread into that slot and then snap the handle back into place. Okay, we're just about done now. We need to just put the two screws back into the brake handle at the top on the handle. So get those two screws in and just really one more step. Okay, one last step. You're going to grab the end of the cable sheath and slide that into the end of the brake pin and you're done. We hope you found this video helpful and for more informative videos and all of our great products, visit ClickYourUSA.com.